and if you don't have enough, we can get you more. That's not that's not a problem. We have like over a ton of clay, so I don't see you using a ton of clay for this project. But um, if you get it out and it's really thick, what I did is I just pounded it down. So like this, when I rolled it out, it wasn't exactly. Well, this still isn't exactly, but I can add clay to it. Just like I'm gonna add some clay over here. I'm gonna add some clay over here. Once again, just pound it down. Now this clay is still pretty wet, so it should be just fine. And you'll have to be careful rolling this out because if you don't, you'll get little lines, which you can smooth out. And then what you need to do is flip it. Pull it out some more. And you do want to stay kind of within these dimensions. These are like three eighths. If it's a little smaller, that's fine, but don't go half of that. All right. Um, one thing you're going to need to do is once you have your thickness, somewhat decided, you're going to take your rib and you need to actually smooth this out. This is compacting the clay a little bit more. And you don't need to like do it so hard where you're digging into it. You just want to smooth out the side, or the top, sorry. Especially over where those sections connected. And then you're going to take it, flip it again, Roll this out. And I, there's large pieces right there um, that you can work on. And then come back and smooth this out the best you can. You're gonna take your paper, <clears throat> and if you need a brand new paper to use as a template, I've got that, so that's not a problem. And you want to hold this down and very carefully cut your frame out. And then just pick up the paper and move it over. And then just kind of smooth it down. And if it um, has a lot of texture in here, don't worry about it because you're actually going to be cutting that out. Um, I'll have to get you guys some rulers to do this. But what you want to do is have it about an inch. And then what you're going to do is draw that and then you're going to take your little loop tool just like up there and you're going to actually dig this out now don't throw this clay away because we can reuse it so also if you have clay that's out you're just allowing this to dry out so even if you're still working with the clay keep it in the bag and keep it wrapped up so anytime you do this, and you don't want to go all the way through, you want to go about half. And if you go through, you just take the clay and you put it, all right? And this is going to get you started um, as far as doing your letter and everything, but just, oh, see, I went through that. So what we'll do is we'll just take our clay and push it back on there because we want to make sure that since we're adding clay to this we don't want it to be like this thick by the time we're done we want to take off as much of the thickness as we can so that we don't have bubbles or anything like that and it dries evenly 
okay? Make sense? Okay, if you're gonna go ahead and start this today, make sure you grab one of the larger pieces of wood. Um, and then what we're gonna do is I have large trash bags up here. When you get finished, if this is what you're gonna work on today or you work on it tomorrow, you're gonna take this, I'm gonna bring in larger trash bags too because these are kind of small. But you're gonna stick your wood into the bag and then that cart right there, that's where we're gonna store these projects. Okay, that way it can be moved around and everything like that. So, we good? We got questions? 